Good morning. Welcome to day uh, th three, I guess, of the Effective Altruism Summit. I'm here on the roof of one of the buildings here at University of California at Berkeley. Uh, and I am starting my first video for the day. So the videos that I have tried uh, during this conference have been different from other conference videos I've made this year. I've tried to record things that I would like to make comments about as the start of videos, so the first like minute uh, or 30 seconds of a video, uh, with the intention to go back and comment on those things that I saw that I wanted to comment on and make a video more of like a commentary about different notable moments that I had at the conference rather than like a collection of events. Now, I did a couple of collection of events videos as well. And this will probably be one of those. But I think that's a fun new format to explore. So I'm enjoying that. Uh, I just need to make time to actually record my comments on them. Conferences have a way of like taking your entire life and making it completely unproductive, which I like. It's really, really fun and really great. Uh, <laughs> you know, but but there's just no time for recording comments. Um, so so that's, you know, that's I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it because I'm excited about it uh, and because I need to remind myself to do it. Um, today I'm going to panels on uh, philosophy and training and artificial intelligence and human rights, animal rights, and I mean that's the general like theme of the conference, that's what most of the things are about. And then I'm also going to try to make time to not go to panels and then just talk to and meet people. That should be fun too. Uh, yeah, so maybe this will be a, bit, a video about that, or maybe I will forget to make a video. We will see. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Enjoy. ...might also play to our comparative advantage. Um, it seems like credibility and intellectual rigor are really built into the heart of effective altruism. A risk, for instance, could be an example of that. So there seems to be quite a lot of effective altruism research uh, falling under that first bucket. Uh, second, we have um, Copenhagen Consensus Center support. I don't know if you, if you know about it, but they publish, essentially, they, they do prioritization. Okay, that was a presentation on how effective altruism as a movement and the new Effective Altruism Institute plan to influence academia and policy over the next 40 years. That was very interesting. And then up next is a presentation by a guy named Dave Duty, who uh, I believe was project lead for the Voyager missions at NASA and recently retired and has gotten involved in effective altruism, so enjoy. Uh, my name is Dave. I work as an engineer at uh, Caltech, JPL down in Pasadena. And I've known about EA for about a year now. How many of you have known about it for a year or less? Okay. Well, this, this pitch I put together as an introduction showing what my route has been and uh, hopefully to uh, be able to share it with, with other newcomers. And uh, I'll get to run it by you and see if you have any input. We, we need people out there who are helping us inform the decision about EA, helping us think about these difficult questions and apply the thoughts to it. And now a collection of other clips from other presentations. Um, panel with Cass Sunstein and Julia Galef, and then probably also some presentations that I don't remember. Uh, and then the closing ceremony featuring final video and then the very awkward moment where they had us fill out the exit survey but my phone was dead so I filmed instead in, of trying to fill out a thing online. Uh, and then the conference ended. So far so good last day. I'm trying to balance going to panels a little more with just talking to people and wandering. It's a lot of fun and I don't feel like I've missed anything important. So things are going well. <laughs> Architecture, a cafeteria has choice architecture. Two day conferences are strained, it's already closing ceremony time. Video of everything that's happened this weekend. Take a look. <laughs> we need to change the incentives if we want more widespread change, and that means encouraging funders to require the research to be open. So, technology, which is... Someone who's just encountered effective altruism, you can help them figure out their path. Why <laughs> global? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like literally the voice of God. <laughs> yeah, someone gave an amen in the previous talk. And this is, yeah, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah to effective altruism. <laughs> Make, ensuring that the key concept about effective altruism kind of uh, is retained, which is just using evidence from reason to address the question 
how can I help others by as much as possible in life? And as I kind of hinted at earlier, I think that means the one thing you want to do, I certainly feel this for myself, is be careful kind of with interactions with the media, in terms of um, implications in terms of basically how we do cost-benefit um, calculations for the sorts of things you might do. So this concept of effective altruism as an intellectual community, to be able to have thinking about, leading and discussing the most important effective altruist issues to you people. So one thing to do in terms of continuing your engagement and shooting... <laughs> Will, you want to meet up later? Oh, hey, dude. That dude is recording his entire life on a GoPro. He's not posting any of it online. He's just storing his entire life on a hard drive. Isn't that crazy? Oh, hey. So the group selfie's over, and now I'm not clear on what's happening.